In this lecture, we will seed some data for the difficulties of the walks and also the regions the walks are in. Uh, but before we do that, we have some data uh, in the database. Uh, I have just deleted the data, so I don't have any data in the difficulties table and no data in the regions table. But during testing, you might have some data. So perform these queries. So I just have a simple query, which is delete from regions. And you can also delete from uh, the difficulties table as well. So just select all and execute. Uh, if there were records affected, that means you had some data. So make sure you have empty tables before proceeding ahead. So now we can come back to our application and perform the data seeding uh, through Entity Framework Core. For that, let's come to the DB context file, which is under the data folder. So expand that and open the DB context file. In here, we want to seed some data and that is performed in the on model creating method, which is an override method. So you can create the structure by writing override on model creating, select that and you'll get a structure for the on model creating method. We have a model builder, which we will use uh, in uh, in the part of the data seeding process. So first of all, I'll put a comment over here that we will seed the data for difficulties. And let's say we have the data as easy, uh, medium and hard, just three types of difficulties. So we want to create a list of the domain model difficulty which has two properties id and a name so i will create a new list and then seed this list into the database so first of all let's create a new list of domain model difficulty so variable difficulties is equal to new list of uh, the difficulty domain model and make sure it's coming from the domain model folder over here and after that we will add the difficulties here. So a new difficulty, it needs two properties an ID, which is a GUID and a name property as well, which is a string. And because we need three of them, so I'll just copy the structure two more times. So these are the three difficulties that we need, but we need to populate them with the uh, with their values. So I cannot use GUID.NewGUID because that will change the value every time I run Entity Framework Core migrations. So I will create three identifiers for uh, GUID identifiers for difficulties. And you can do that using the C Sharp Interactive window. If you don't know how to get to it, you can go through it from View, Other Windows, and you can open C Sharp Interactive window. And you can generate GUIDs uh, just like normally we do it using this window. So you can type GUID.NewGUID. It's a method. And just press enter. And this will generate a new GUID for us. Now I can just write GUID.Parse. And in strings I can give the GUID here. And let's say this GUID is for the easy difficulty then I would need another GUID. So let's generate another GUID using the C Sharp Interactive window and copy that. And let's write again GUID.Parse and give the GUID to that. And the name of this difficulty would be medium. And finally, we need one more. So let's use GUID.NewGUID again and copy the last GUID paste it over here inside GUID.Parse like that. And finally, this is the hard difficulty level. Let's close the list by a semicolon. And we have a list of difficulties now. Now the way to seed is really simple. We will use the model model builder object dot entity. And we define the type of entity that we want to uh, seed, which is the difficulty in our case. So difficulty domain model or entity. And in brackets, you can, if you use the, uh, the second thing, we can use the has data method and provide the data for the difficulties, which is a list or an array 
and you can just paste the list over here inside the has data method and this will basically seed difficulties to the database. So you can see how easy it is to seed some data into the database using Entity Framework Core. We first just define the data and that could be anything you want. It could be just one difficulty. In our case, it was three difficulties in that table. And once you have defined this data, you just pass it to the has data method and you also say which entity this belongs to. And the model builder will just handle the rest for us. So we have defined the difficulty seed. Now it's time to add the region data as well. So I can comment over here, seed data for regions. And in here I can start creating the list. So variable regions is equal to new list of domain model region, which is coming from the domain model folder. And inside that, we can have a new region and we will add more as well. So new region, let me close that using a semicolon. So the list is complete. Uh, inside the new region, we want to give ID similar to how we did for difficulties. So we will use the C-sharp interactive window and we will use uh, this ID from there. So let's say we use the GUID.new GUID and copy this new GUID and say guid.parse and that's our unique identifier for the first region. Uh, let's give a name to the region. Let's say this is Auckland and then a code for the region as well. Let's say this is AKL and the region image URL and let's give that something as well. So you can give any image URL for the time being. Later on, if you want to uh, change that, you can change that using the database or in, over here as well. So you can give any image you like over here. So let's say I provide an image over here and that's my Auckland region. So I'll go ahead and create other regions uh, for, for now. So I've gone through and added the regions over here and I will give the script to you in the notes attached to this lecture as well. So you don't have to write all this by yourself. You can just directly copy it from that notes uh, and paste it over here. And basically now that we have a list of regions ready, we can use the same thing. We can use the model builder, which is over here dot entity provide the type of entity. In this case, it is the region domain model. And then we use the has data method and we provide the data for the regions as well from the list that we just created. And this will basically insert the regions data inside the regions table. So now that we have done the work inside the DB context class, uh, our data will not just magically appear in the database. We have to run entity framework core migrations. So you remember the commands. We have to first create a migration and then update the database. So let's do that. I will open package manager console, which is again from tools, NuGet package manager, package manager console. After that, we will write the first command, which is add hyphen migration. And after the space in double quotes, I can say the name of the migration because we are seeding some data. Let's say we can give it seeding data for difficulties and regions. I know this is a big name. You can have a smaller name if you like. The command was giving me an error, but for no reason at all. So I restarted my machine and it all was working fine. Um, so yeah, the same command add hyphen migration and seeding the data as the name. So we have got the file for the migration file for the data. And it's just now time to run the second command that is update hyphen database. And that will actually insert the records uh, that we have over here inside the tables. So this will be done anytime soon. 
So this is running the script now. And if I open the tables, we had this empty. But if I execute it now, we have the regions table. So we have the ID, code, name, and region image URL as optional. So we have images for some and not for the others. And if I open the difficulties table as well, we should have three records in there, hard, easy, and medium. So we have done the data seeding for the difficulties and the uh, regions. So now in the next few lectures, we will work on the Vox controller we, where we will be doing CRUD operations on Vox and we will also be bringing details for difficulties and regions for that particular Vox.